right now I'm standing on the bank of the stream and if you look around me it's mostly composed or the sediments are mostly formed of coarse grained pebbles and uh, boulders so pretty high energy environment and we are standing here today because we want to discuss about the grain shapes and how grain shapes are defined based on the ratios of short intermediate and long axis so the first shape that we are going to see is this kind of shape where this is uh, we call it as rod shaped so this grain you see it's shaped like a rod and the characteristic of this is that you see this long axis is very long compared to the intermediate axis which is this one if you see from this side and the short axis this one so the intermediate axis which is this one and the short axis which is this one it, they are both smaller compared to the long axis so this shape is particularly known as the rod shaped uh, the second shape that we are going to study is this disc shaped and the characteristic of disc shape is that you have intermediate axis which is very similar to the long axis and the short axis is much smaller compared to both these axes. So it is, it is flat shaped and it is shaped like a disc. So if you look at it like this, so your long axis and intermediate axis they are much smaller so they are they are almost equal to one another so long axis and intermediate axis are almost similar to one another but if you look at the short axis it is much small much shorter than either the intermediate or the long axis so this type of shape is known as the disc shape now the third shape that we are going to study is this blade shape that you see right here so again it is very flat like we discussed that disc shaped but the thing is the long axis and the intermediate axis they are different so long axis is longer than the intermediate axis so this, the difference between long and intermediate is significant so long intermediate but the short axis is still very short so you can compare both these shapes here especially in the cross section so if you look at from the sides if you look both these pebbles from the sides they are very flat but if you look them along these axis which is perpendicular to perpendicular to this like the flat face so you see the difference the long axis is much longer in bladed shaped compared to the intermediate axis so the difference between long and intermediate is significant now the final shape that we are going to study is not as interesting because here it's almost it, this is known as the equant shape which is and this this grain is equal in all dimensions so the intermediate axis the long axis and the short axis they are almost similar to one another so it appears like this rounded pebble so again the four shapes rod shaped disc shaped blade and equant so now what we are going to do is we are going to study these different shapes on zinc diagram so what we have on zinc diagram is that we have on x axis the ratio of short axis by intermediate axis and on, I have, on y axis i have this intermediate axis by long axis ratio so the first shape that we studied was this rod shaped in which both the short axis and the long, uh, the intermediate axis they were almost similar, but both were much shorter than the long axis. So if I'm down on y axis, my ratio of my long axis is pretty long, but they are both similar, short and intermediate. So both are small equally. So this is where I plot my uh, rod shape. Then I go to this second shape, which was uh, the bladed shape. I'm going to study. So in bladed shape, short axis is uh, this short axis is much smaller than the inter is smaller than the intermediate axis and intermediate axis is smaller than the long axis so this is where i place this shape now in this this shape intermediate and long axis they are both similar but the short axis here is very small so on x axis it is going to be close to zero but on y axis it is going to be close to one so this is where i place this disc shape this is and the final shape that we i have is this equant shape and in this equant shape, all short, intermediate and long axes are almost equal to 1. So in this quadrant, I place my equant shape. 